You know, we were taught, you know, you could be anything you want. You want to be an astronaut? You could do it. You want to, you want to be a, a chef? You could do that. You want to be a firefighter? You could do that. And as I got older, and as I grew up and, and, and learned a little bit more, you know, I learned that the real world, when you get to a certain age, uh, doesn't reward those kind of statements. You know, when you get to be 13, 14, 15, you're not dealing with your parents anymore. You're dealing with the real world. And the real world will quickly remind you that you ain't shit. And they will give you every reason as to why you can't be what it is you want to be. Now, we have this ideology in America where the teachers are telling the kids, especially the minority kids, that they cannot do anything in this country. You cannot achieve anything. You're not gonna be successful. It doesn't matter how hard you try. It doesn't matter what you do. You're gonna fail. We, to a great extent, behave, think, react because of some previous experience that we've had. One of the things that we know about life is that it is always changing. Sometimes you're up, sometimes you're down. Sometimes things go real well, and sometimes they don't. Sometimes you're happy, and sometimes you're sad. Now that's that thing called life. And when we begin to understand and know that, accepting that reality that, that we will never ever have things just on an even kill all the time, that you're gonna have some ups and you're gonna have some downs. But during those down moments, that's where the growth takes place. See, but the real challenge, the real challenge of growth, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, comes when you get knocked down. Well, you know what's so funny? We want people to make guarantees to us, but we're not willing to make guarantees to ourselves. Now, for real, I'm gonna say it again. Like, you, somebody gave you a guarantee, $30, 30 day guarantee. In 30 days, if, they, if you don't make what they told you was gonna make, in 30 days, you got an attitude, you want your money back. But you've never demanded your money back from yourself. You've never looked at yourself in the mirror and said, you let you down. Until you get to that point, you let you down. You've never, you're not brave enough. You want to put it on somebody else. The reason why I'm not successful is because of my boss. Have you ever looked at yourself in the mirror and said, I'm not getting up on time. I'm not going to work on time. I'm not putting in 120% when I'm at work. You always want to blame other people. You always want to, you want to hold other people to the fire, but you're not holding yourself to the fire. You just say you're giving 50%. You owe you an explanation. You owe you an explanation. You need to look at yourself in the mirror and say, why are you only giving 50%? What's wrong with you? You need to put yourself on punishment. You need to tell you, no more TV, no more snacks, no more desserts, no more, no, we working out now. No, no more alcohol, not right now. Not, no, I can't handle it right now. You need to tell you that you owe you something. For 10 years, I heard every person I know making fun of me. I heard every person I know telling me it was, that, that I was wasting my time. You understand what it's like to have people tell you that you can't do it. And I'm gonna tell you something. This is the fucking truth. This is the reality. The truth is this. If you're willing to pay the price, and you're willing to do the work, and you're willing to take the time, and you're willing to consistently get up when you are knocked down over and over and over again, which is going to happen to you if you're pursuing anything outside of the norm, you can make it here. Now, if you choose, you can also find every excuse as to why you won't make it. You can find every reason if you look for it as to why you won't make it. But at the end of the day, there's gonna be two groups of people. The one group is gonna get told that they can't do it. And instead of fighting, and instead of working, and instead of, you know, saying, well, f that, I'm not willing to accept that, those people are going to just take it. And that's what society's counting on. Society is counting on you giving up. So listen to me, there are those of you who said, I want to be a millionaire, I want to be the best at this company, right? But your value system says you believe in sleep more than you believe in grinding. Your value system says you are a consumer and not a producer. That you're spending more money than you're making. Why? Because you're a consumer, but you're, you're reading all the books and you're saying everything the books are saying. But those books are not in alignment with your values. And if you're going to go to the next level, your values are going to have to change. What's your dream? What is it you want to do with your life? Dr. Joelle Martin said something that I love. She said, what would the world be like if everybody lived their dream? Here's what I found about life. And it's, it's not as complicated as I used to make it. I think that life is about dreams and stories. Everything that exists, the world at one time was barren, but everything that exists, hotels, planes, they weren't here. Everything that we see every day, computers, all of the things that we see, someone had a dream. What is your dream? I said that you have something special. I didn't say that just to be kind. I said it because it's true. You are God's chosen vessel. You were chosen one out of 400 million sperm. You have something in you. That when you were chosen, when you showed up, there's something in you that if you don't do it, all of us will suffer. If 
you do the work consistently, if you invest in yourself consistently, two plus two is gonna equal four. In 10 years of work, when everybody else is partying, making excuses, doing the cool thing on the weekend, it's gonna pay off. It just is. And you'll never convince me otherwise. And so my talk today obviously isn't for everybody because there's people listening right now who have already bought into this. They've already bought into the fact that no matter what the they do, they can't win. And that's just not true. And I'm not talking to you guys. I'm talking to you guys right now who still have hope, who still have the fire, who still have the want and the will and the desire to be more and become more and contribute more and win more because you know your life will be better and everybody else's life around you will be better. I'm talking to you. you live your whole life only to discover that it was wrong that it was wrong that you were chosen to do something else 